And it's amazing how the week runs so fast. It's another weekend and trust me, there's always something happening in the social circle that you would love to see. Yes, it's Metrophile. Welcome to the first edition in this month of May. Yeah, you can say that the year is really running out so fast, faster than you can imagine. Okay, let's go straight to our lineup for today. Interesting package awaits you on this week's show that you don't have to miss, trust me. Well, I'm Ogechi Kwasi. Here is a sneak preview. But this week, it's the turn of Oyome Votu Obada and Olami Dotu Awusedo to be joined together in marriage. Oh. And it was the same story for Ademola Adebambo, a member of staff of Channels Television, not married to Deborah Onyekomi. On a surprise 70th birthday party for Mr. Sudan Green. First Bank of Nigeria PLC gives some members of staff a pat on the back for a job well done. I will begin Metrofile this week with two lovely couple, Oyome Votu Obada and Olami Dotu Awusedo. Now, a new chapter opens in their lives together as man and wife. That engagement ceremony held here in Lagos. Guests at the traditional engagement ceremony of Oyome Votu Obada a businessman from Delta State, and Olami Dotu Awusedo, a financial consultant from Open State. This is a day that the two families would cherish as they give their parental blessings to their children to begin a new life together. It's a full house and they have all come to be a part of the celebration as a new family is born. The bride, surrounded by her family and friends, dances in, decked in a beautiful combination of cream and yellow. excitedly dance to meet her husband. Good, be, be, 
something in the society, the nice people, humble, and co contribute to the society. They should be better than I am. Uh, better than I am might be transient, but that's the wish so that the country can be good. The Lord bless them with good children, with peace, with good health. I leave everything to God. With God help, God willing, we'll be able to do it, right? Together. Yeah, together. Their thoughts, their words, their action should be, uh, should be directed by the Holy Spirit. They should live in harmony together and let Jesus Christ be the head of their family. They rounded off the celebration with everyone dancing to the music. A lovely couple there. Now that is not the only wedding on this week's edition of Metrofa. Now Debbie Onyekomi is the beautiful lady at Demola Adebambo, a member of staff of Channel's Television. I've decided to spend the rest of his life with. Now Debbie came to Channel's Television years back for her youth service and obviously got more than she bargained for in a positive way. Now the experience, the friendship, and a husband. Now the wedding took place here in Lagos. <laughs> On this day, two families from Oshun and Open State, the Uyekomis and the Adibambos, came together to join their children in holy matrimony. First, the traditional way. It's a special day for both families seeing their children at Demola Adibambo, a member of staff of Channels Television, and Deborah Oyekomi start this journey together. It's a big one for them. <laughs> Moments later, the groom's family, as usual, declared their intentions. After that, the bride makes her way to pick up the symbolic Bible, which follows with a formal engagement. Together they cut their cake and before everyone feed themselves.
They continued the celebration with their family, friends and well wishes at the redeemed Christian Church of God, Province 10 headquarters in Lagos. As the congregation settles down, the sermon comes immediately. If you are not just safe, please repent today and accept him as your Lord and Savior. It's only those that have been saved that will be honored, that will be allowed, even as you are seated now, celebrating with the God. It's only those people that have been saved that will be allowed to enter. As they begin a new chapter in their lives, they are authenticated by signing the dotted lines. And the latest couple, both young, Mr. and Mrs. Adimola Adibambo, is presented to the church. Service over, the newlyweds move outside. children children in the mighty name of Jesus. I wish them long life and prosperity so that what has gone has gone together no let for anybody put us under. It's a good thing when you see your child getting married. So you give God the glory because it's the will of God that every human being should be married. She's hard working very, very committed person. Actually, that was actually what made, I mean, got me attracted to her in the first place. My NYC experience in channels was an all-round fruitful package. I got the experience, I got good friends, and I got a husband. I wish her the best of everything, and I assure her that she will have the best of everything. Shortly after that, the reception kicked off. Their parents arrived first. And here comes Mr. and Mrs. Adimola Adibambo. The couple moved forward to cut their cake.
and feed themselves as well. And who is next as the bride threw her bouquet? And the dance floor is open. Now, Mr. Shode Green clocked 70 recently, and he definitely got the best treatment he deserved during a breakfast session to mark the celebration. It's 8.30 a.m. on Thursday, the 26th of April, and the guests here have left their myriad commitments to celebrate a very special person, so there to them as he clocked 70. Mr. Shodinye Green is the reason they've all gathered, who added another year to his age, hence the celebration. But that obviously came as a huge surprise to him. The celebration started with praise, worship and prayers. The caliber of people who gathered here obviously shows that the celebrant is really loved. His wife, Mrs. Inkiru Green, and other members of the family celebrate their father. And it's time for testimonies as the guests, one after the other, took to the microphone to say one or two things about the celebrant, who is a retiree of Shell Petroleum Development Corporation. I remember when uh, I was posted to the city of David, uh, he had stopped coming to church. Uh, and I had to go to BGC um, to speak to him. And he said, just give my son, give me a few months. And after one month, he came back. Wherever there's conflict and so is brought in, the first thing he's trying to resolve is how to make peace. Because we grew up together, me and so with one of my other cousins, we grew up together. And so was there for me all the time. I would I would always look for the trouble. But so will always be there to protect me. <laughs> this journey from the time we were young to this time. So, change and became somebody that would be so peaceful and be able to manage his home until he got to 70. The hostess of the day, the wife of the celebrant, also shared some words about her husband. so much in my abilities that sometimes I begin to believe it too. 
um, the, you are my greatest encourager. Uh, you have been a good friend. You have been a lover. You have been a confidant. I'm thankful for you and the one who brought me to the Lord. After all is said and done, the celebrant, accompanied by his family and other guests, cut his birthday cake. Well, um, we thank God for him reaching 70. We're here to celebrate with him and we wish him many more good years ahead. Okay, from that celebration to yet another celebration, now it's become something that they look forward to and work hard for it if they really want to make the list and work away with the CEO's annual merit award. Well, I'm talking about the members of staff of First Bank of Niger PLT, where some of them got the best treatment and honor they deserve at this year's award for their hard work and commitment. Management and staff of First Bank of Nigeria PLC with their MD CEO, Mr. Bisi Onosoya, welcome their guests to their CEO Annual Merit Award. Tonight we'll be parading the stars that are in First Bank, the stars that have made First Bank the financial institution that it is today. So across the entire group, made up of over 11 subsidiaries, we will have from each subsidiary a winner emerge. It promises to be an exciting night. It has become a standard in the calendar, in the annual calendar of financial organizations in Nigeria. And we have the most amazing guests who come to celebrate our staff with us. It's not just a staff event. We have a tremendous workforce, the best in the industry. We have a management team that is second to none, not only in the industry, but possibly in corporate Nigeria. The evening started with a light cocktail where the guests chat and exchange pleasantries. After chats over cocktail, the entire guests moved into the main hall of the Echo Hotels and Suites where the real business of the night kicked off. While they settled down, the MD CEO of First Bank took to the podium to reel out the success story of the bank so far, but he was quick to add that all the success recorded over the years has been as a result of the commitment and hard work of members of staff. This is an event to celebrate those who went the extra mile and put in the extra efforts to make sure that we deliver on our goals and objectives. The bank, no doubt, is celebrating excellence. And the First Bank sure invited friends and customers to come join it in celebrating its hard-working staff. The prominent personalities here include the Oba of Lagos, Rilwan Akiolu, the Governor of Lagos State, Babatunde Fashila, Governor of Ogun State, Ibukule Amosu, Governor of Oyo State, Abiola Jimobi and his wife, Governor of Abia State, Theodore Oji, Chairman of Airtel, Oba Otudeko, and a host of other important dignitaries. Just before the awards started rolling in, this dance troupe all the way from South Africa sure made the evening a memorable one.
They took a break from the dance to present the awards to deserving staff. Magnanimous in helping colleagues with referrals and hitting their targets of outstanding human sales managers and financial advisors. With this, it just shows that First Bank of Nigeria PLC is not only committed to providing good services to customers, but also rewards the staff who work so hard for the company to ensure that the bank delivers quality service to customers. Well, hard work has truly paid off there, encouraging them and others to work harder. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's on that recognition of excellence we wrap it up this week. Thank you for being a part of it, and God willing, we'll be back again next week. Please join us again. I'm Ogechukwosi. Thank you, and goodbye.